What is up guys, it's Bucky and welcome to your 16th intermediate Java tutorial. And in this tutorial we're going to be going over sets. Now what a set is, is it's a collection, but the thing is, is it cannot contain any duplicate items. So say you have a list or something and you have the word um, Bucky twice in it. What a set was, a set wouldn't allow this. And we're going to be using using something called a hash set. So it takes a collection such as a list, and if it finds a duplicate item in it, it's going to remove it for you, and then return the new and enhanced collection. So let's go ahead and get down to it. And the first thing we want to build in is pretty much any array of strings, but make sure you have at least one, or you can even have more than one duplicate items in it. So go ahead and make it string. Uh, I'm going to name mine things, and set it equal to something like. Um, I'll put apple, bob, um, ham, and then go ahead and duplicate an item. Go ahead and put bob again. And for the last one, I'll put bacon because I'm hungry. And after this, what we want to do is convert this array to a list. So go ahead and put list that we're going to be storing string data in it. I'm going to name my list. And just put arrays as list and pass it into the parameter whatever you call your array and I call mine things there we go so now what it does is it takes this array and we can treat it as a collection list now so let's go ahead and just print this out right now so we can see the original whenever we change it so system out print f and go ahead and print out the entire collection right here by passing it in a string variable and then go ahead and put list as your second parameter and let's go ahead and print a blank line after this so system out print line so this way let's go ahead and run this first before I continue you now see that we output our list apple bob ham bob which is this is a twice um, the second instance of this element and then bacon at the end so let's go ahead and get to the heart of this tutorial and that is using a special set called hash set to remove any duplicate items from that original list so all we have to do is we need a set unlike a string it's a different form of collection and we're going to be using string data in this as well so name it anything you want I'll name it set and set it equal to new hash set and of course we're going to be casting string and as its constructor what it takes is the list that you want to turn into a set so let's go ahead and I name mine list. So what this is going to do in its constructor when it's creating this set object is it's going to take a list, it's going to see that it's a list, and it's going to remove any duplicate items, which is in this case only the second bob right here. So now that we did that, let's go ahead and put system out printf, and let's go ahead and unlike uh, before when we print out the list, we want to print out the new set so we can compare it to. So as our format, let's go ahead and print out the string again. And also set right there. So what this is going to do, this program, is first it's going to print out, well, let me run it and then I'll give you guys an overview one last time of what we did. So here is our um, list right here. Apple, Bob, Ham, Bob, Bacon. And what it did when it created the hash set is it removed the second instance of Bob. So this had five elements in it and now you see it only has four with four original unique elements in it so what we did one last time is we created an array called things and then we created I mean excuse me we converted that array to a list and then we printed out that list which was pretty much as a basic list and then we said alright you know we want that list but we don't want any duplicate items in it so what we did is we pass a list in as a hash set object and whenever we created that hash set it took all the duplicate items out and it just printed it out as a normal set so this is how you print out any set right there with print format and uh... that's that simple enough so thank you guys for watching this tutorial in the next tutorial we're probably going to be going another over another data structure and i promise you guys we're going to be going over applet soon so uh... for now that's all the time i have so thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you next time